In this video, we're going to show you how to install a Pipster faucet. This is a brushed nickel finish. It has a spot defense and it's a push and seal. Push it down, stops the water, push it up, the water flows. All right, let's do it. So what we have here is the Pipster. It's a spot defense. It'll help so you won't have those fingerprints. How well that works, I don't know. We open it up. Of course, we have the instructions. What we're getting in it, you have the faucet piece, the handle, the other handle. These go in between here to make a nice tight seal so you don't need the caulk and you don't need extra stuff around there to seal it up. This one's for the spout, this one's for the handles. This goes to tighten it around the spout in the middle for that one. Then we have our cold, which is all marked blue for cold. And the red as well is marked red for the red side. The only main thing you need to watch out for is when you're putting these on here, make sure you get the hot on the hot side. This is the spout and it's the drain plug. So you have this little washer, it's gonna go on there. You're gonna have this that comes off, the one that's there, goes up here. All right. Okay, the other pieces, of course, are these that came in the box. These that are going to go onto the bottom of these to help those stay on. piece that connects them both together. I have it on the side. I thought it's a lot easier to have the back off of this thing and go ahead and put this on. So with the side up, this goes towards the sink, this goes towards the back. Okay, put that in here, slide that up there. All the way up, making it a nice tight fit on there. Okay. Take your other piece. Don't forget your ring if, if it falls out. Make sure you get the ring. We're sliding it on. This was designed so you didn't need any tools to put it all together. What you need comes in the box. Make that nice and snug. Okay, nice and snug. That's it. Okay, the water line. Do the hop first. This is the hop. Through there, the cold, just down a little bit more. I want to make sure you can see this good. It has arrows, so when you're tightening this, you want to make sure the arrows are facing towards the sink. Let me open up our pieces to hold that on. Two pieces. This one, okay, it's gonna slide in the whole thing. And then we have this piece, okay. Holding the other side, around on the other side, there's an arrow. It's gotta be pointing towards the sink so that when that's going that way, you put your other piece on, it's gonna match up on the front. So the faucet will turn off and on the right way. You just tighten that down. And they give you a tool now. It's two pieces. You have this one, you have this one. Okay, right now we just need this one. Put it right on there. Just give it a twist. Just hand tighten, that's it. Now, same for the other one. This can go either direction. It's just flat on both sides. Once again, take the side here, put it in here. Give it a few good turns, making it tight. See that arrow is towards the sink. That's so when your handle, because your handle sits down on the other part, when you go to turn it off and on, and you turn your handle, 
they want that that way so the threads that are in here will match up just right to make that happen just like that stop and it opens piece could go all the way around what stops that from happening is the other piece of it as long as the arrows are pointed that way you're good get our little piece again put on here tighten this down fits right up in there and you just turn it till it's tight that looks like that's it you want to make sure our arrows are straight on that's good enough and that piece is done. Now we can connect these pieces. Let's do this one for the middle. On this piece, you're gonna need that little thing to go around it. That would be this piece. One side's got the little rubber piece to it, and this side has this. See the little things? They're gonna go right here in these holes. Right down on there. And that's gonna make a nice seal. Put that right back on there. We have to get these other pieces to go on the back side. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up and we're gonna be putting on the other piece here, okay? I'm holding it up. This has little spots right here that are raised. That's gonna go in to make a nice bite on that counter. So the piece where it's hollow, this is gonna be the back side. So this piece goes Okay, then you have the nut to screw this down with. Just kind of hand, just hand tighten it just to keep it all together. I, me personally, I would want this to come around so it's actually biting the surface more. That's what I like right there. You just want to make sure when you tighten this, when you're tightening this thing, you don't want to have like a gap. See, you can see a gap. You want to kind of close that gap the best you can. Just get it on there, centered. This is the extra piece. You're going to put it in here. Okay, can be either way, doesn't matter. Then we're going to put it on here. The two pieces together will give us that extra tool so we can tighten this down. Making sure that the other piece is straight. Looks straight. Okay, that one's done. We have these water lines. This white goes to white. We got it all labeled out for you. Just put the little clips together because obviously they go together. Okay, Just slide that. There you go. You take the red one. The red one slides in. Same thing. Right in there. And the blue one, right in the blue side. And there we go, completely hooked up. This is where these come into play. And the reason, there is a filter in here, a little, um, let's see if I can pop that back off for you. There's a little filter in here, okay? It's pink, see it? because there's no place to stop any of the debris because it's a straight spout. What do I mean by that? You know, normally you have a piece you can unscrew and clean out the stuff. Well here, it's just a hole. That's what this piece is and it went in here. This could get stopped up with debris if you were getting a low water flow. You could take that and clean it. Two more filters on here and these also have screens. These don't come out that I know of. This one is only 12 inches. You may want a 20 inch or a 16 inch. And this one is half inch to three eighths. For these fittings, they're three eighths. This is a half inch here. See, that's gonna go on there. This piece you're supposed to attach first. So this goes in here. And you can just tighten that up. Hand tight's all you really need. So. I'm just gonna barely give it a turn here. Just wanna make sure, nice and sealed, not over tightening it, and there we go. That should be all that you really need. Now the line, obviously these are can be for anyone. We'll just go ahead and stick this on here. Okay, push it in, okay, it stops. Once you push that in, it has this piece right here. It's gonna stop, okay, right here. So push it in, stops. Screw this one on. 
Once again, you don't have to do this. You can just hand tighten it. I, for one, like to just make sure just a little bit, but I don't think they recommend you doing that. I don't want you to do something that's wrong, but I like to make sure it's tight. Okay, once again on the bottom, okay? We have this piece goes in here. This is for our other line, and that just screws together. Hand tight, that's all you really need here is hand tight. I'm gonna go ahead and use my pliers just to make sure this piece, all it does is go right in there, okay? There you go, all done. Now, remember we put these on, we gotta put the front on. There's no hot or cold marked on here, so it's either one, it doesn't matter. First thing you want to do is unloosen the screw. Tilt down a little bit. This is the side that goes in. This is the side that sits on the cabinet. Put the washer on. This is the only gasket you're going to need. Make sure this piece is to the back of the sink and your handle is facing out, obviously, so you can turn the water on and off. Okay, then we go straight on. There we go. Now, that's Look straight to me. Tighten this piece up in the back. When you turn this, if you're having some problems, if you need to make this adjustment when you put the handle on, come back here and move this around. Just kind of turn it some. It's no longer facing towards the sink. It's facing, it's still towards the sink, but it wasn't straight out. So as long as that's towards the sink, you can still make some adjustments to it. This right here is your main thing. Long as when you turn this, doesn't matter how the back is, if you're having some problems or just needs to be adjusted. So mine kind of comes out. Tighten this piece up in the back. There we go. Same thing for the other side. Put our gasket in here. On, off. The blue one's facing right at the sink. So if you need to make this adjustment when you put the handle on, just kind of turn it some, tighten it down again. Tighten this little piece up, make it nice and square. Stops, and it's the right direction, perfect. So that's the install made by Pepster. It's supposed to use less water. We can save the environment, save the cost on your home. Also have a collection of ones you can use. Big towels, this is like a hand towel, paper holder, and hooks. So I didn't get these, but I got these so that I can match all the stuff that I already have. On the back kind of gives you a little bit more of a diagram of what we just did. Didn't need any tools to install this. It will just install in just minutes. It was really easy to do. But we're still working on getting this vanity in at the moment. That should be set. If you like this video, you found it to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, be a part of our family if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you'll never miss another video when we upload it. That's it for now, guys. Booyah! Okay, got these pipes in for the vanity. See what I did here?